We're lucky to have all of us in the room together today to talk about how economics, the alternatives industries intersect with human rights. There's a powerful and important thing that happens when we all collaborate. We as a country, we as a world are in a very uh, peculiar place today. And it's very interesting to hear other business leaders speak about how they're positioning their organizations for the uncertainty, how they are able to influence the future without alienating any views and really making an impact. There are problems out there in our society. We can throw our hands up or we can get into the fight. So the fact that we're all here today talking means that we haven't given up the fight. There's a real opportunity here to build a more inclusive economy, but we are gonna have to be serious about it. We gotta be ready. We, we do know that the world is volatile. Uh, sadly, there's gonna be conflict. We need to make sure that we build up the infrastructure, the know-how to build something new, better, and different. The problems are often political, and I dare say you have a great deal of power. We get to define the economy we want, and you have power to spearhead us into these righteous directions. Being involved in human rights is an opportunity to make a big difference for individuals in this country, throughout the world, and we could do that with investment dollars that were given to us. We can do that by creating jobs, creating companies, and supporting growth. These are investment. This is a way of thinking of investing in our most treasured resource, which is people. It's not that hard to go that extra step to do what's right. We're living in very interesting time, and there's gonna be a lot of turbulence. And I think having a North Star, understanding different tools that we can use to get us back on even plane is gonna be critical.